So in this video, we're going to talk about vaping and how vaping is actually stopping you from getting laid. We're going to talk about vaping because this is a topic that I feel really strongly about and I really wanted to talk about it for a long time now. I'll give you the three types of vapors that are quite popular. And the first type is the recovering smoker or the ex-smoker. So this is the person that usually uses that kind of vape and they use it frequently. They use a quite a high level of nicotine just to replace the smoking habit that they had before. The second type of vapor is the mod vapor or the cloud chaser as they call them. Those vapors, they look pretty stupid. They usually drive their cars with the windows down. They're going like this and then they blow the biggest clouds out through their windows. They think they look quite cool, but they actually look quite the opposite. Now, my worst kind of vapor, and those are the new age vapors. Those vapors use vapes just like this, those colorful ones. Those are the new types of vapes that are out. And this one's like a, a goop vape, it's called a black grape. Now, the flavors. There are so many flavors of vapes, and basically they all try to taste like fruits. They're all like fruity or minty flavors mostly fruity flavors. Now, what I want to emphasize on, can you imagine a person, or let's say, no, not just any kind of person, but can you imagine a masculine man with a beard and that is quite successful, holding one of these vapes and going, and you know, blowing some clouds out. Imagine, imagine that scenario. Now, what is your opinion of that person after you've seen them do that? Is the man still masculine? I don't think it's possible to look masculine while using a vape like this. Or just any kind of vape. Imagine a woman sees a man using one of these or any kind of vape. What does that show to that woman? Think about it for a second. What does she see? One, she sees a man using a colorful vape. It's already a bad sign. So what exactly does she see? She sees a man that does not have the determination to stop vaping. She sees a lack of self-control. She sees childishness. She sees something that is very, very negative. The worst of all, it shows a lack of power of will to quit smoking vapes. Now, quitting smoking vapes is actually quite easy. All you do is just throw it away and don't buy another one. That's all you have to do. I don't really understand how people are addicted to these things. They're fruity. This one is like black grape. Go to the shop, buy some black grapes. What's the problem? If you have an apple flavored one, go buy an apple. Eat an apple instead. If you have like a strawberry flavored one, buy a pack of strawberries. They're cheaper. Now this is the funny thing. These cost like 10 euros, something like that. Now this, this is a flavor of black grape. Do you know how many black grapes you can buy for 10 euros? You can buy five packets of black grapes for 10 euros. You're going to probably uh, have quite a sugar rush after eating five packets, but it's going to be more beneficial to you. And you probably understand the point I'm making. Why are you using these if these are making you look unattractive to women? I've asked my girlfriend. She said that this is the most unattractive trait that people can have, vaping. That shows such a lack of discipline. You should understand these things. Don't be looking at other people doing it and think that's it, that it's okay that you're doing it. No, just because someone else is doing it doesn't mean that it's okay that you do it. If you're vaping right now, I want you to quit. It's one of the worst habits that you can have that is actually damaging your health, damaging your status, and it's damaging the way you look to other people. You look to other people that you're weak. You look like a weak man when you're vaping. Now, I'll be completely honest with you. I used these vapes for around maybe a month, um, around maybe nine months ago, maybe even less. I've used these vapes for around a month when they're becoming popular and I can say I've never smoked a day in my life before. Well, I mean I smoked cigarettes but I wasn't like a smoker and I just took one of these vapes and I tried it from a friend and I bought my own one and then I bought maybe like a couple of more just to see what they're about. Now, I'll be honest with you, I got a nicotine hit. I was feeling, you know, I was feeling a buzz from it. I was feeling like a little bit lightheaded. My mood was a little bit improved. But now, one thing happened. After I used maybe two or three of these, the effects have dissipated. 
I wasn't feeling the same effects that I was at the start. I wasn't even feeling a little buzz. So, what I'm trying to tell you now is that if you're vaping and you're a, a regular vapor, you are not getting the effects from these things, but you're still using them. And you blame addiction. Addiction is your little culprit. You're saying, oh, I'm addicted. You're giving yourself a label that you're addicted to these things. Don't put a label on your hobby or whatever you want to call it. Don't put a label on it. Never label it as addiction. Because once you label it as addiction, then you try to accept it. Because there's a lot of people in the world with addictions. There's people with porn addictions, people with video game addictions, alcohol, drugs, vape, smoking. Don't give yourself a label of addiction. That's actually giving you worse results. You're not going to quit vaping because you're seeing yourself as an addict. Just see it as a bad thing. Just see it as something that you don't need in life because it's not bringing you benefits. It's costing you money and it never tastes like the real thing. A black grape vape is never going to taste the same as a black grape. Same way as an apple vape will never taste the same way as an apple. An apple is way more delicious. So how exactly are these things stopping you from getting laid? Now let me tell you, you're going across the street or you're in your car or let's say you're just in a pub or something like that and you're going, yeah, um, had a good day, you know, um, but what's your number? <laughs> no, because you're using one of these, she's not going to give you your number. Well, if she is, maybe she's a vapor too and she doesn't care, but she is seeing you as unattractive and not manly. This is something that children do these days. And that's a different topic. I don't want to get into this topic right now, but um, yeah, you're, you're basically a, a weak man. You're a weak man using these vapes. And I believe that you have the willpower to stop because it's not that hard. There are a lot more harder things in this life than stopping vaping. Try and give me three benefits of vaping right now. Try and think about them. Give me three benefits. thought so. Now three bad things about vaping. Harmful to your health, harmful to your finances and looks really unattractive. Those are just three. I can keep going. So this is the way that vaping is actually making you less of a man. More, not, I wouldn't even call it feminine. It's just making you less of a man and I believe you can stop vaping. So that's it for this video. I hope it kind of help you and maybe I push you in a little bit of a direction to stop vaping. Hopefully it, you know, hopefully it helps. So thanks for watching the video. Watch some other videos on my channel. Like this video if I helped you out and peace.